Hello, I'm Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to compress audio in Adobe Premiere Pro. So here we are editing a vlog in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you want all of this to be made easy for you with some presets, go and check out my brand new Adobe Premiere Pro audio presets at mrc.fm forward slash presets. Everything like compressing the voice, making it sound crisper, clearer, and getting rid of any background noise or wind or anything like that, mrc.fm forward slash presets. You'll find them in a presets bin uh, with lots of different presets for different microphones, fun vocal effects, and more. But in this video, focusing on compression, here's some audio I did to my uh, vlogging mic. Let's have a listen to it and see how it sounds so far. Hopefully not too bad, uh, but then it might need a little bit of compression. It's really cool. A lot of my day here at MRC consists of making... Okay, so not too bad, but we can further compress that using... Type in dynamics to the effects bar drag and drop that on to our audio area and click the edit button over here. This will give us a compressor. This is the one we're gonna use down the center. Click compressor and as we start to play the audio back, the threshold is the dB level at which the compressor kicks in. So any audio going above minus 20 dB will be compressed. Obviously by nothing until we increase the ratio. One to one is no compression. But say two to one means everything above minus 20 dB gets compressed, gets cut in half. Let's have a listen now to how that sounds with just a little bit of compression and a bit of threshold. It's really cool. A lot of my day here at MRC. And as you can see, the compressor is kicking in now and just pushing down some of those spikes. Uh, but obviously the further up we go, so four to one is cutting everything into a quarter above minus 20 dB. It's really cool. A lot of my day here at MRC. And you can hear that's heavily compressed audio. Attack, that's how quickly the compressor kicks in. Generally, for dialogue at least, uh, you want to keep that really short, so a millisecond is fine. And release, how long it takes to let go and allow the audio to return to normal. 50 milliseconds, again, defaults are all fine. Now, the more we compress, uh, the quieter the audio gets. It's really cool. A lot of my day... See, I'm around minus 12 now on the uh, audio meters. And if I untick compressor... It's really cool. A lot of my day here... I'm up at zero dB. So another thing you're going to have to do with the compressor is use the makeup gain here. And just turn this audio up for that lost uh, level. So let's push it up by 5 dB. It's really cool. A lot of my day... And still it's going to need to go up more. So let's make it 10 dB. ...here at MRC consists of making... Okay, so that's good. The only thing we're suffering now is a little tiny bit of echo on the audio, and this can be easily solved uh, using other presets inside Adobe Premiere Pro. I'll go into removing echo in more depth in a new video, but compression is something great for allowing voices to be heard. So if someone is uh, watching on a phone or something or in a noisy environment, uh, when you go really quiet, they don't have to keep turning the volume up, and when you talk really loud or shout at the camera, they don't have to turn the volume down. That's what compression does. And if you have any questions about that or how to use this feature in Adobe Premiere Pro, more than happy to help where I can. Just post a comment down below.